I love being able to continue to work on my own strength, my own endurance, and I love seeing the results, and I love being able to work out with the same people every week. Before I joined Varsity House, I was working out at a gym in my old town. I was there about two to three days a week working with a trainer, and then the pandemic hit abruptly and everything closed. The world virtually shut down. So it was really difficult. And I think I speak for most people when I say that my entire life was impacted. My schedule was impacted. My workout schedule was impacted. My work schedule was impacted. And it was really difficult. I was certainly in a very frustrating place. I didn't feel good about myself. I didn't feel like I was, you know, at the top of my game. So when I found Varsity House and I found that it was only two blocks from my apartment, it was really exciting to, to be able to get back into to a groove and enjoying classes. So I was really happy. Now that I am at Varsity House um, today, um, I feel great. I'm really happy that I have a consistent workout schedule and being at Varsity House and being able to be in classes with other people and trainers and seeing the same folks every single week, it really helps keep you accountable and it also is really motivating. On the days that I'm not at Varsity House, I try to work out, I try to go for a run in town or use my Peloton or do something because I wanna to continue to keep building my muscle and building my strength and building my endurance because I know that I'm gonna be in class the next day or maybe later that weekend. So being at Varsity House has totally shaped my workout schedule, everything I do during the week really depends on when I'll be there and I look forward to it because again, that motivation um, and that accountability is, is so helpful and you really feel like you're in this together. I think what I love most about Varsity House is the inclusive and supportive environment. Whether you've lifted weights your entire life or it's your first time lifting weights or you have no clue how to do a push-up, it doesn't matter. Um, it's really exciting to see how the coaches and also the other people that I work out with have really been able to turn this little studio in Ridgewood that I didn't even know existed into such an inclusive, supportive, and safe space. And you know, it's not about how many reps you can do or how strong you are. It's really about how good do you feel. And I, I really love that the coaches take into account what your goals are. You know, my goal might not be to be the strongest person in the world, but they'll do whatever they can to, to help you meet that goal. So what I love the most is the inclusivity of it, the supportiveness, and really just how open and motivating everybody is. I remember I was working out a couple weeks ago and I had to do you know something very, very difficult. It was a certain distance on one of the machines and I was really tired. And some folks in the class that was after me were coming in and they were cheering me on and they were screaming my name. And when I finished, everybody gave me a high five. And you just don't really get that at regular gyms. And I've been in gyms my whole life. I've worked with trainers my whole life. And there's definitely something really special about this little space. So I would definitely say the support that everybody gives you, the motivation that everybody gives you, and just really that inclusive environment that no matter who you are, no matter what you look like, or what your fitness level is, the second you step into that place, you're, you're in this together, you're working out together. And I think that's what makes it a really special place.